Okay, the good news is I'm quite certain I've now fixed the audio problem, except for synchronization. I don't know why these things don't stay synchronized, unless perhaps it's the multiple threads. But so during the night, the Asian market lost percent and now Europe is two. Three coronal mass ejections have merged. Two M class and a near X class, whatever that means. And that coronal mass ejection simulation just finished uploading. I also made a rather ambitious movie two days ago and was a little bit stunned that the 20 minute movie was 22 gigabytes but I tried to upload it anyway YouTube may think I'm a pig so I had to convert it down to one gigabyte and that's that 41% uploading tremendous amount of data in this. I'm just hoping this is a usable enough format that we can do some serious research. Because the data has to be almost completely objectified, although the lack of continuity is a little bit discouraging. I'm pushing this program to its limits, I'm sure. It's almost mesmerizing. Although, by the time we get down to its state, it's which is two levels lower, and therefore two levels greater resolution. Then all of that becomes far more fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. So I'm calling this series Next Rad 2, What Can It Do? Because I'm sure this is not off the shelf Next Rad as it's described to us on the internet. Visual. United States, North Central. That's my house right there. What I did to begin with was I came across the United States starting at Seattle, coming across Idaho, Montana, the Dakotas, Minnesota, and then between Duluth, La Crosse, Wisconsin, Green Bay, Milwaukee, Chicago, Minneapolis, and three next red stations in Michigan, I, that's where I discovered that these stations are talking to each other. And I did try to use an appropriate technology made by a company called the Gigabeam. It was a military technology whose hertz were lowered enough to sell to the human non-military civilian population. And we could shoot the internet to very, very high speed, big bandwidth, uh, across the rooftops of Manhattan. And these beams could go miles 
but the laser light beam never got bigger than a silver dollar. That's the kind of thing I think they may be using here. Kaboom. You can see we've had a 